Right, it's raining outside, so I'm going to make another video. For one reason, I'd like to move the comment section on a bit, because it's got all stuck in a thread, and there's a lot of confusion going on. I find I'm finding it extremely amusing, but finding myself quite cruel for finding it amusing. The whole thing is very odd. The thing I did want to talk about, though, is the comment at the bottom uh, from Lyle. And it's difficult for me to say this. It's not going to be bad, don't worry. It's just difficult to say because it sounds very contrived. OK, I'll read you Lyle's comment, which is absolutely valid. Bugs, 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 you know, creepy crawly, bugs, and most living things other than humans exhibit an apparent will to life, and it would certainly be difficult to replace their obvious will to life as pride or being themselves up. Now, that is a straight, decent, honourable admonition of what I'm doing. Admonition, does that mean... Stop it, you're being silly. But I, I, what I want to say in this video is kind of, I, I kind of know and know what I'm trying to say. First thing to point out is that, which one is the first one to point out? Let's say where I'm coming from, or was coming from, was the problem of somebody jumping on a grenade on purpose to kill themselves to save others or whatever will to life does not cover that or if it does there would have to be recourse made to the books written by dead germans and it is why because the expression will to life is an expression of dead Germans. So if we want to question it, we have to question the experts of the book reading of dead Germans. I don't want to have anything to do with them. And if you would like to ask me what I mean by the man bigging him's man, probably, the man bigging himself up by jumping on a grenade, I'll be able to probably give you a reply. If I say the man was doing a will to live when he was jumping on a grenade and you want me to explain what I'm quite talking about, I wouldn't be able to. So I'm not saying that the expressions that I use are right. I'm saying that the expressions I use are ones that I think I might be able to honourably discuss with you and explain, or come to a point where I can admit that I can't explain them anymore and will agree to drop them, or will drop them. The whole idea I might drop. Like, talking about free will, and to people like Becca, who's coming on the comment section trying to convince me it seemed as though the whole comment has gone all the other way around she's trying to convince me that there's no such thing as free will and I think it's a confusion in the comment section because she's seen me talking to Axel yesterday but it doesn't matter but we on these things I think I've said this before but I'm going to say it again now if someone could show me where they have free will and why they have free will they can explain it or they can point me to somebody else that explained it although i'd much prefer if they explained it or science has explained it and they don't quite understand so they point me towards that i won't be downhearted i'll be only too delighted to learn something about free will and this isn't a, look, free will doesn't exist sort of, I'm like this for 
all this stuff. If what I'm saying is obviously wrong and somebody says it's wrong, points out why it's wrong, I'm not going to be downhearted. I'll go along with it. That's fine. I'm, I would be downhearted by just silliness and rudeness or things that are, you know, so poorly explained that nobody can make anything of them. But on this thing, okay. Bugs and most living things other than humans exhibit an apparent will to life. Now, the important part of this to me is, is exhibit an apparent. They do exhibit an apparent will to life. And I, I can accept that bugs, cold cats and humans must come under the same um, scale. And if we're talking will to life, it's got to be the same for cats as it is for bugs. I can, ex I can accept that. Humans exhibit an apparent. Bugs exhibit an apparent. Cats burrowing down to find somewhere warm so they won't freeze to death in the night exhibit an apparent will to live. All we see is what we see. And then we make up wordy like for what we think might be going on behind the scenes i am happy to say that bugs are bug bigging themselves up cats burrowing to keep warm are bigging themselves up humans when drinking when thirst you have starving is there a word for starving like there is for drinking Humans, when they're very, very thirsty and drinking, they're bigging themselves up. I'm happy to use bigging themselves up for all of those. Because it doesn't harm. What we're obviously talking about is us here, not so much about the cats and bugs, but I would be happy to try and justify its use for cats and bugs bigging themselves up because it is all exhibiting an apparent see it's, we see the show exhibiting an apparent i we've got the so let's say we've got this battle will to life we we think that we might think that the cats and the bugs are on a permanent will to life thing in their existence. I don't think they are. The cat, when burrowing, finding somewhere to spend the night in freezing conditions, is probably doing the will to life thing. Someone chasing me around this room with a knife, I'll probably be doing the will to life thing. Are bugs ever doing a will to life thing? I'd say that would depend on the cat. When the cat's all snuggled up and it's got its optimal conditions, I don't think it's doing its will to life thing anymore. I think that's stopped. When somebody isn't chasing me around the room, I don't think I'm doing will to life. I don't think I'm ever thirsty enough to do will to life. I don't think I'm ever hungry enough to do will to life. I don't think my body externally is in, in a, in a um, homeostasis condition that's so far off that I ever do any will to life. I'd say that most everybody watching this has not done will to life, let's say, for months. You know swerving the car in to to avoid a fox or something will to life we don't we we do not do it will to life is doing something will to life like we do not do it and i'm saying the cat does it our cat now does it never hasn't done it all year doesn't do it. 
I'd say our cat does bigging itself up. I'd say you do bigging yourself up. I say I do bigging myself up. And I think the coverage and the usefulness of that bigging ourselves up is greater than the use of the extant but now defunct expression will to life. So I'm not ashamed of using bigging ourselves up because I think it has more useful coverage than will to life.